Now at five, 4,000 U.S. troops are expected to be on the ground in Afghanistan tonight to assist with those evacuation efforts. Thanks for being with us for the very latest on the crisis in that country. The White House says the Taliban agreed to allow safe passage for people trying to leave the country. CBS News learned calls are going out now to thousands of American citizens there with instructions on how to get to the airport in Kabul. We predict that our best effort could look like 5,000 to 9,000 passengers departing per day. The family of Navy SEAL, a Navy SEAL killed while fighting the Taliban in Afghanistan, has been watching the events unfold with a very heavy heart. Danny Dietz of Colorado is remembered by all as a true American hero. Rick Salinger live this evening in Littleton. And Rick, you talked to Danny's sister today. I did, Jim, and her thoughts, of course, were for her brother, who is memorialized in this statue here in Littleton, but also for the people of Afghanistan that he and so many others fought so hard to defend. Mainly heartbreak. Heartbreak for the families in Afghanistan that are suffering. For That's Tiffany awesome. Bits to see the images from half a world away are tough enough. But when your big brother lost his life fighting to prevent this, it hurts even more. It's so hard to not go down that path of thinking his loss was in vain. 25-year-old Danny Dietz was a Heritage High School grad and a Navy SEAL. He was on a mission in June 2005 when his team of four were discovered by goat herders. After letting them go, they alerted the Taliban, who killed all but one. It was portrayed in the movie Lone Survivor. Now the Taliban controls the country that Dietz and so many others fought to keep free. He was feisty and a daredevil. Um, he was brilliantly smart, uh, but he had a really good heart. The country may have been lost, but in the painful process of this two-decade war, it created a hero for Colorado to admire and honor. In my mind, he was the best of the best, and in a way that made him untouchable. This statue is surrounded by American flags. It sits near Lowell and Barry if you want to see it. Dietz is buried at Fort Logan. Live in Littleton, Rick Salinger covering Colorado First.